Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to my channel for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making tutorials and live streams. Today I'm making a special design for Amber. I'm going to make a little kitty angel with a rose quartz crystal wrapped inside. What you're going to need for this project are your cutters, your flat pliers, your round pliers, some rose quartz crystals or any crystals you like. You can also use sea glass and I'm going to use 20 gauge wire and 24 gauge wire. So I'm going to take about a 12 inch piece of 20 gauge wire and I'll just start by in the center I'm going to just do a little loop. So this is going to hang, uh, you could hang a jump ring on this for a pendant and we're just going to bring this up on an angle and then we're going to form the ears. So you need your flat pliers and you're just going to give this a sharp bend and then this too. Just give it a sharp bend on there and just bring these in a little bit. So from there you want to form the face. So we can use our round pliers. You can also do it by hand if you prefer. So we're just going to bring this one in here and then bring it out and just make a sort of a roundish body. So we're going to bring this one in here, just bring it in a little bit and then just bring this out on an angle. So we're going to bring it down like that. So then you have like a basic shape of the kitty cat and then what you can do is just see which crystal you want to use, which which size is good and then we're going to form around here. So we're just going to bend this around. You can also wind it around a marker. If you need help just get a little marker to wind it around just to get the shape that you need. So just wind one side and the other side. Straighten those up a little bit. So what you're going to do is just line these up a little bit and you're going to form the wings. So I'm just going to hold it in place here and wind the wire around a couple of times. So we're just going to bring this one out here and up like that. And then this one too, we want to just measure it out here. Bring that one around here and we're just going to bring it in. I've cut my wire a little bit too long but it really depends on how big your crystal is and how big you want the pendant to be. So we're going to bring this one around here and out. So there's our starting point for the kitty and we can just straighten these ones out a little bit. Just straighten them out and make sure these are nicely lined up. You can just fix these up a little bit just like that. And then what you want to do is form your wings. So for that we're going to take the round form, bring it down, just down here and then bring it out. And then we'll do the same on this side. We're just going to bring that down here, just down and we're going to bring that one out. Okay, so we're just going to check and see that they're about the same size. They look pretty good. And then what I want to do here is just make some little spiral. Just because I love spirals. I love the way they look. I love uh, sort of what they represent. And we're just going to go around and around. It's like infinity. It's beautiful. So we're going to go around here. And then this one, we're going to bring that one around around and around. Just check it around here and then we're going to get the smaller ones just to complete the spiral. So once we have that and you're happy with it then you can clip them. Give a little clip on that side and a little clip on that side and then we're going to flatten them out a little bit and we're going to tighten them up a little bit after but for now they're okay. So this is sort of the basic shape that we have and then I want to wind the stone inside. So for that we're going to take the 24 gauge wire. We don't need a huge amount but I want to cut maybe 
15 to 18 inches. So I'm just going to start by attaching it somewhere. We'll just start at the bottom and we want to secure these two wires together just to keep the shape uh, nice and tight. So we're going to take that, go around here and up. Okay, and then this one, this one I could, should have kept to the back. And then what I'm going to do here is just bring it up here and I'll wind it around just above the wing. So we're going to go around here, just above the wing. I'm going to bring this one over to this side and wind it around. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to come back over to this side, but I want to attach that wing in place. But I also want to make sure the body, the two loops of the body are secured. So if you need to just go ahead and line up them with the uh, pliers again, and then take this and hold these in place and just secure it around. So we're going to come around here, make sure these line up and then just bring it around. If you have to wind it around a couple of times, it's fine. So those will be like that. And then this one too, we're gonna bring it across to the front and we wanna secure those in place. So same thing, if you have to just wiggle these around a little bit, they're going to settle in place as soon as we wind it a few more times. And then we're gonna bring this one in here and just wind it around a little bit. So just here, tighten it up. You'll see it lines up nicely once you've wound it around a few times. So there's kind of our basic shape. And now we can go ahead and take our stone. So just slide the stone in place and then you can start going around and securing it a little more. So we're gonna go over here across the top of the stone and then give it a nice little turn through there to secure it in place and bring that to the back. And then this one too, we could bring it over here. You could bring it right across and same thing, bring it around those two wires so it gets secured. Try not to pull them too, too tight because uh, you can always tighten them up after. So now we're going to go over here, bring it through here again, and bring it down here. You just want to crisscross as much as you think you need to hold the stone in place. You don't want it flipping out anywhere. So this one here too, we could bring it across the back so it's secured at the bottom here, bring it around and then bring this one back up to the top. Bring it around here, tie it around at either side and then wherever you think, like if you want to even go across here and back down, you can just straighten the wire out as you need bring it right to the bottom and then if you need your pliers to help you to get it in place. The 24 gauge is a little more delicate. You can always use a 22 gauge for this if you prefer. And then once you're running out of wire, you have to clip it off. So make sure you cut a good long piece of wire. It's always better to have too much than too little. And then if you need another secure across there, you can bring it across there. It's always good to err on the side of caution to make sure that you have enough wire that it's held nicely in place. So from there, you can just clip that and pinch that one in place. And then it's all in the adjustments. So if you need to adjust the wings, like maybe I want to push them up a little bit higher, you can. And then these if you want to tighten these up a little bit, maybe you want to tighten up the bottom of the wings a little bit, just take your pliers and tighten them up a little bit. That's fine. Just bring it in. And then if you need your flat pliers, just to kind of flatten them out a little bit. So there's your 
sweet little kitty angel and then if you do want to tighten these wires up you can uh, like I've shown in previous videos you can just take your pliers you can just give them like little flick of the wrist just to tighten them up a little bit so you can either have that kind of look or if you want them just straight you can have them more of a straight look all you'd have to do after that is put a jump ring. I don't have any gold jump rings, so I'm just going to make my own. I'm just going to just wind it around. Make sure you cut it flush. If you have a saw, it's actually better to use a jewelry saw when you make jump rings. And also better if you file those ends. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead, do the little jump ring, and just close it up. And then you can just put it on a chain or a leather cord. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.